everyone, this is Gabby. I'm going to talk about my painting that I did today for our creative project for class. This is a self-portrait of me in a fantastical kind of Venetian setting. Um, I did this painting in that setting with the historical buildings behind it to represent the historical imagination that's so important to sociology and so important to our study of society. If we look at things from a historical perspective, we understand uh, where different people's experiences come from and the way that our structures in society are built over time and we can understand how to make good solutions that are long lasting by looking at history. So that's what that represents. Um, in the portrait, it's a portrait of me because it's about my experience having various identities within society depending on the context I find myself in and depending on who I'm with. And the times when I am both privileged, which is represented by the scarlet um, garment that I'm wearing, and the times when I'm not. Um, I'm pointing to my reflection in, in the water in the painting because that represents that the way that other people perceive me is different than my own self-image. And that image is something that I need to focus on when I'm building interpersonal relationships with people and building cultural capital in new environments, understanding how other people perceive me and how that perception comes out of their experience and not mine is very important. And that's been something that we've looked at at this in, during this course and it's really stood out to me, it especially helped me when I've been talking to people now that I have clients of my own at the um, Office of Aging where I work. I talk to them and it helps me to understand that though they come from different backgrounds and face different obstacles, if I'm doing active listening and I'm listening to learn about them, I can understand where they're coming from and I can understand how to relate to them and how to show them who I am and the aspects of me that can be helpful to them. You know, the experiences that I might share with them or if I don't share a lot of experiences with them. I just talked to a lady who is fairly wealthy her issue is that she has agoraphobia. She's one of my clients. Um, and so her experience was very different than mine, but she still was facing many obstacles in her older age at being able to provide for herself and being able to relate to others. Um, and then I also can now, you know, focus on the obstacles faced over the course of our history with the Black and Hispanic community. And many of my clients who are not very wealthy and who are struggling with food insecurity that I'm helping, those clients come from a long history of difficulty in building wealth. And I understand where that comes from and I also understand them better. Um, so overall the course has taught me how to focus on what my reflection in the world looks like and how that changes depending on, and that's what the ripples in the water represent, that that's always changing depending where I am and who I'm around and each time I have a new experience it's like a, a rock falling in the water it changes the the projection of my life and it changes how other people relate to me and some people experience things with me and other people come after the fact and I'm, I have to be able to share those experiences to the best of my ability so <clears throat> that's what my creative project is um, and that's all I had to say so hopefully you guys, if you have any questions, this is an acrylic painting um, I did, and that's all I really have. Thanks so much.